Iron City, you expect to have to use your gun once in a while, whether you like it or not. But it's a job that somebody's got to do, otherwise nobody's safe for very long. But when it comes to killing a man, chances are he ends up here, in a grave on Boot Hill. Ooh. And it's getting mighty crowded these days. <laughs> Mac Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Here comes Chester. Hey, Chester. I don't know if Kitty hears me. Could you all say Kitty? Kitty! Kitty! Hi there, Chester. Hi. 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 Oh. And I ain't got no money to pay him. I ain't got no money to pay him. So, so Kitty, I need some work. Now, Kitty, let me tell you what I've done in the past. I was working in a bar, just something like this, and and poor, poor barbers came in. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, Mr. Jimmy came in. And he was some poor little barbers, put them on the floor with a face down, and he asked me to take coffee. And take them, and we took them to jail. And I did such a good job, I guess, that yeah. Mr. Jimmy, he hired me, so I can be sidekick. But, but I got to tell you a secret. He goes, he, 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 he cheats. <laughs> well, are you telling me that you need a job, Chester? Yeah, and I, I, I have an experience. I worked there, and I worked at other bars, and all the all, and, all and, okay. and let me tell you something else. Mm -hmm. I got this lip. We should give the guy a chance. All right. <laughs> He's shot dead. But one of the bullets, they went right through my leg. And ever since then, I've been living. But this, this kitty, even though I live, I can still do the work. So, okay. kitty, would you hire me? I sure will. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
with you this time. I want this place now. You can't have it. No. No. This is my place. It won't be for long. No. I'll see to it. Are you threatening me, boss? Threatening you? You'll know when you find out. Where's Josiah? I saw him over here somewhere. Huh? Josiah. Well, anyway. There he is. There he is. He had a broken arm. I said it. That's fine. You know what he paid me with? If you're not getting the theme here, you're not paying me very well. He paid me in salt pork. How much salt pork can I eat? Oh, that's too bad. I know. Sob story. And then Monk. I saw Monk over here. Monk, <laughs> he had a carbuncle in a very, very sensitive <laughs> And I for boy, he was a Be a mother to be. 
Well, the, what's happened here lately is Moss, he wants to blackmail. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Doc, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Moss wants me to force, somehow, Kitty to get her to sell the Long Branch. I'm not going to sell the Long Branch. No way. I can't do that. I need to yeah. do that. You can't bring myself to do that. The best way to handle it is to defuse the whole situation. He's going to blackmail you, but what is he going to blackmail you? Well, well something that he didn't want to tell you, but... It was oh. in the past, in Abilene, uh -oh. and Queenie and I really liked each other a lot. Ooh. You know, I mentioned Annie's somewhat younger than you. Well, I remember that I took care of her when she was pregnant. She stayed in the in the Long Branch. Yeah, Long Branch upstairs. Right. Yeah. And then I helped you when she uh, delivered that baby girl. Right. Yes. And then, you well, then the, the baby, baby girl, as you know, was was uh, sent on. So. Was wasn't a good situation for the baby, so I sent <coughs> the baby back to St. Louis to grow up, um, to, to develop. To be adopted. Well, that's what we tried at first. That didn't, that didn't work out. So, blackmailing you because you had you were the father? No, because you, because she had a baby. Because she had a baby and I was the father. You were the father. Of the baby. When you were sent to St. Louis, we tried to find a family to adopt you. But no one wanted it. Didn't you. work out very well. <laughs> well, you were there, and I did the best I could. I sent you money and so on. And the reason I did is you're my daughter. You're, what? you're my daughter. <laughs> you're Queenie's you're daughter. my baby. I saw on the way. <laughs> it had a sign that said, 
the first Starbucks. I thought that was in Seattle. <laughs> anyway, um, I got to make my way over to meet this guy, uh, boss. Hi. Hi. Are you boss? I sure am. Um, ben Silas. Oh, I'm so happy to meet you. I got a deal for you. Oh, you do? I sure do. Well, I got your telegram. Okay. Well, I got a Miss Kitty here, and I can show you who she is. I need to get rid of her. All right. That's I'm not buying this place. I'm going to make it. Uh, let's see. Let's work out a deal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got to add some guy. It's a meddling marshal. A marshal? Well, that's going to cost I gotta you double. I got to get Marshall Dillon. That's going to cost you double. Well, that's fine with me. I don't mind double at all. Because right, I killed a lot of Marshalls in my time. That's no problem at all. I'll okay. just point them out to you. Okay. Well, I want you to go out for a minute. Okay. I'll just take care of a couple things. I'll meet and I'll meet you down the street. Okay? okay? And telling everybody who hired you. You know, I think I could, I can move to this town. I like those ranches when I drove in. I don't know if I want to raise cattle or sheep. I don't know. But I'm going to have something to hang over boss's head that I'll be getting a lot more money than he thinks. And I'll be able to buy one of those ranches. I'll just dye my hair blonde and grow a beard and nobody will recognize me. <laughs>
medical opinion. I'm Edgar Hoover. I'm a